stitches, wrap the one, wrap to the next one. And that's the next one there. Right into it. Two stitches, wrap and through. And wrap and through. So you're just left with one again. So if you see your fabric is kind of growing now and you're almost building like a a wall or something. I'm just gonna go to the end of the row so you see what happens. You see that the first row is always a bit tricky, it's taking me quite a while because the foundation chain sometimes can be a bit tight. So when you start doing single crochet to every stitch, you end up with a fabric that's much thicker and just doing this is. See how much thicker this is. What you can do, you can just make a really long one and then carry on doing what you were doing here. But if you want to make an actual fabric, then it's like knitting. So just go back. And you see now you've got, if you look at the back of it, you'll have a set of like chains that you can go through quite easily now. You see, so it will be much quicker. The first one is right there. So your hook will almost naturally go into it. There will be plenty of space for your hook to get into. If you look at the next one here, you see there's a ring there and another ring there. You want to go right in the middle of it. I'm going to do a few rows so you have an idea of what you can actually do with it. So each of these is a, is a stitch, so each movement is a stitch. So that's a stitch done. And a stitch looks like a, almost like a block with a lid on top. Can you see? A little block with a lid on top. There's one there. I'm going to do another one now. That's one stitch. So I'm going to count the stitches in the end and I'll show you what you can do as well. Yeah. yeah. So when you go through the top, do you go through both? Through, both? yeah, through both.